Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, I just want to show you how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS back to iOS 3.1.3. So this method, of course, is untethered. And as you can see in front of me, I got a 3GS. It's jailbroken, unlocked, but then was factory unlocked. So it has the compass. And yep, it's a 3GS because it has this chrome font on the back if we want to focus it has this chrome font on the back it's a 32 gigabytes and it's not a custom back cover so if we jump into settings general about you can see that this is really a 32 gigabyte iphone so it's running 3.1.3 and yeah so today i will show you how to do that so if you want to see more like this for the 3gs make sure to subscribe to my channel because i got two other coming with these two guys where i downgrade one this one to 4.1 it's untethered as well and this one to 5.1.1 so if the focus won't come on of course both are untethered both are 3gs and yeah, so make sure to subscribe to my channel, drop a like too, and I'll show you how to do that. So, see you back on the computer. So, now I'm on the computer, and to be able to downgrade, you need to update your iPhone to the latest firmware. As you can see, I'm updating it to 6.1.6, .6. and of course, you need Snowbreed. So, this program I'll download it from the Reddit thread, so I just quickly jump. Oh, sorry. So I gonna link this thread down in the description. And yeah, so this is the guide. And if you download the Snowberries 2.9.14, so as you can see, the iPhone will boot soon. Yeah, it just booted. So I'm on iOS 6 right now. The best side. Uh, you don't need to set up this thing if you updated it. So, if you're downloading Snowbreeze 2.9.14, it will not work. You're gonna have color display. I'm gonna show right now. So you're gonna need 2.9.6. So you gotta download it from here. Click on link and start to download automatically. So it take one to two minutes. So, I'll be back when it's finished. So now that it's downloaded, we're gonna open it up. So, yes, so open. And now we can see Snow Breeze. So this program is not for commercial use. So click OK. And now, as you can see, it's for iOS 3.1.3, 3.2.x, 4.0.x, etc., etc. So now click the arrow. So now if you don't have, just close this. So now if you don't have the IPSW downloaded, you simply got to go to download iOS firmware, select iOS device, so iPhone 3GS, select an iOS 3.1.3 and click on it and start download. So I already downloaded it. So I got to go browse for an IPSW, go to my download section and I got a lot of IPSWs. Here's the one for 3GS, and yeah, so if you don't know, this method only works with the old boot ROM devices, so I got two of the old boot ROM, and for the 5.1.1 downgrade, you need to have a old boot ROM as well, so I'll show you how to do that. So simply take your cable and plug in your device, like this. So then click... Not new boot ROM, but detect for me. So start the few instructions. 
and just do what I said. So press the power and the home button for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, let go the power button, but keep pressing the home button until it says which phone it is. So I know I'm old boot ROM, so yeah. So this is an old boot ROM and it only works for old boot ROM. So you're gonna click start over, quit cancel, and click old boot ROM. So now it says iPhone 3GS 3.13 7E18 IPSW verified and click on the arrow to continue. So now we've got three modes. Basement preservation, expert or simple. So we're gonna click on simple mode. And my phone is a factory unlocked, so I'm gonna click no. But if your device is on AT&T and you don't have, it isn't unlocked and you don't have an AT&T SIM card, you're gonna click yes. So I click no. And now you can choose if you wanna play around Pac-Man or you stick on the spinner, so, or you can leave it here. And I'll speed up this portion of the video and see you when it's done. Peace. So before I continue to do anything else, I gotta give a shout out to Jamie Pizzonia who found this method and I'm inspired by his video. And so I decided to do the same thing as he. So if you want to see the original video, I'm going to link it down below. So now that Snowberries has finished creating the custom IPSW, you just click OK. And now you're going to put your device into the FU mode. So usually this doesn't work for me. I don't know why. Yeah. Why the cable won't. So OK, so right now. So now you can see the device and click here on start. And my phone is already off in DFU mode, so it's only going to exploit the device. But it won't work, so the device will restart, and we got to exploit it with iRub. So I'm going to leave an iRub download link as well down in the description. Click start. Now it's running iRub, but uh, you can see the device will reboot just in a second here. Yeah. So close this. And just wait for the device to reboot and um, yes yeah, so error is over here so as soon as the device has booted and put it in the few mode again exploit it with irab and it should be good so i'm also going to dock it so you can better see what i was doing and if you want to see the unboxing video of the apple universal dock i'm gonna create a card that should show up right now on the top right corner so make sure to watch this video as well and if you have a iPhone 3G and want to know how to downgrade to iOS 2.0 I'm gonna leave a info card as well in the corner on the right hand corner top right hand corner to be exact if you got any questions, um, just drop a comment down below and make sure to follow my social network. I recently created a Facebook page, so make sure to go and visit the page. I'll quickly show you the page if you want. Wait a second. So the device just rebooted, so just put it in the FG mode. But first I'm going to show you quickly my Facebook page. So this is my Facebook page. At every iPhone Pro. So I'm going to leave a link down below. And make sure to like it. And yeah, so now continue with this. So I'm just going to dock my phone. So to put the device in the FU mode. While it's docked, it isn't easy. So just the camera a bit that you can better see the phone focus on the phone now we're gonna launch iRab put it over here so you can see so now click on iPhone 3GS and prepare the device for the FU mode so 
Same, keep pressing power and home button for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let go of the power button, but keep pressing the home button until the device is detected and exploited. So now it's exploiting the device. Now you click OK. And just put it aside a bit. So now launch iTunes. And so this is only for me because I didn't do the latest update on iTunes and I don't want to do it right now. So now it says iTunes has detected an iPhone recovery mode, blah, blah, blah. So now you click shift, restore, and go on your desktop and locate the IPSW. So usually it should be, today we are the 26th. March and um, yeah, so when shoot this, I got a couple of these, and I'll click open, and now the device should reboot. So I will speed up this portion as well and see when it's finished. Yeah, so now the first step finished, you can see the Snow Breeze logo and the device will boot soon, so see you later. So this was pretty fast. So now the device is on the activation screen, just like I clicked. So now if the device isn't connected, just unplug and plug in again and iTunes should detect this thing so you can activate it. Keep the display, okay, it's activated, phone's turned on, now it's changing the language. So now as you can see Staying legitimately on 3.1.3, jailbroken focus. And uh, yeah, so just jump in the settings. So 3.1.3, 32 gigs. And yeah, so that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for more. Drop a like and subscribe to my channel and peace out.